it possible next to the actors, and we just heard that it is also that close collaboration that has been between the actors and in fact the painters, because it is a painted movie. Um, and once again, to those of you who are just joining us, we're talking about Loving Vincent, this world premiere that's happening today of this milestone new mo painted movie here at the ANSI International Animation Festival. And so I'm welcoming, um, and now I can not even read my own handwriting, Anna Kluza, of course, and Piotr um, Dominiak. Yes. That's correct. And you both have been working on the movie you've been painting, you have been um, chained to your easels, as it were, and producing all these paintings. And of course, that is hugely fascinating. Um, and um, it really, how long have both of you been working on this project, actually? Mm. Piotr was, uh, Piotr was wo working uh, longer. I, I, I was uh, uh, on the first team uh, of group uh, who were selected to uh, to work on the on loving Vincent, um, yeah. So I I was working two and a half years. Yes, mm -hmm. not on storyboard. I started with animation. I was one of uh, the first uh, person who started to animate for that film. Okay, and you, Piotr? Well, I think as I remember, we started to work on the movie in 2010. The first draft and the first test and there's been a long way to finish it mm, but we can say like five years of hard working on that is, is a good answer yeah and you because you have been managing really the whole the paint mu much of the painting process haven't you and um i wonder it must have been a tremendous challenge also to as it were whip the painters into shape so that they paint what you want them rather than i mean they sort of had to forsake also their own mode of expression in order to paint in someone else's style. How big a challenge was that? Well, it was not easy, of course. We have to uh, manage the, the styles. Mm, of course, there's been some general decisions before we started to, to paint it, to animate. We had to make decisions about what uh, style we're going to use for this. And once we've got those decisions, once we've got um, the style, the references for each shot, uh, we were able to choose specific painters for specific shots. Okay. So we've been choosing painters who like to paint in pasto for those shots, which we had like a reference with in pasto painting. And but like I said before, it was not easy. So we still ha we st we had to fight with um, each painter's style. But I hope we did it good. <laughs> Well, we know already from what we've seen, you've done it brilliantly. Um, but Anna, w w for you yourself, um, having to paint in that style, what did it mean to you? How easily or how readily did you feel you could adapt to that? Yeah, yeah of course it wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah, I had, to, I had to go through. I'm kidding you. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> 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 well, thank you, Piotr. <laughs> I I did yeah I tried to do my best, uh, so yes I I had to go through his paintings learn a lot about it b before even I started, and I remember uh, I, I remember when I on the beginning of that film <laughs> when I started to work I I became an obsession with his style and uh, it was like I started to see my my own life through 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 his style like. Uh, people faces with brush strokes with uh, colors or landscapes it was like I, I was taking a break for uh, dinner for example and I, I I was talking with some person and and I saw whoa, whoa what's wrong <laughs> <laughs> so yes 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 so I had to but I nice. think you I think you turned into Van Gogh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It seems like. laughs> yes I can I can add that if you are an artist and you paint for two years in a Vincent style, it's going to stay with you for the rest of your life. I'm pretty sure about mm. it. <laughs> also, we have created many Vincents now. Um, but indeed, I mean, that is a question. And Anna from Germany also asked that. Um, what um, that actually what it did to the painters in relation to Vincent van Gogh. I mean, did it make you feel closer also to him not only as an artist but also as a person that you understood more about his life his choices the choices he made the artistic choices he made yeah i have short answer yes <laughs> the short answer is yes yeah yeah um and um 
And what do you think about this m mode of making, use this mode of making a movie for that? Do you think that there is, um, you could also imagine doing it with other artists, or do you think this is so unique that Van Gogh lends himself to that approach so specifically? I mean, we've got technique, yes? We've yeah, got technique. Yeah, exactly, uh, what you're saying. Um, yeah, I, th I think... Uh, because I, I, I did some, some tests with other art artists, with uh, Turner, and uh, also is a, is a, like, is, is because uh, I was a little bit, after these three years, I was work wi uh, working with people's faces because there's uh, lots of dialogue in a film. Uh, I wanted to do something more abstract, more like uh, without references. Oh, I wanted to try uh, without reference animation. If I can uh, like keep uh, speed and uh, uh, just do it from my imagination. And uh, I did the test and yeah, it, it looks great. Yeah, okay. maybe not as uh, Van Gogh's <laughs> loving Vincent, but yes. Yeah, and I, I was thinking to do something about it. Yeah, about him. And Piotr, would you want to do it again? Something like that? With Vincent. Or with another artist? For sure, of course. Uh, well, I think we, we developed a very good technology for creating movies. And it's a painting animation and this Puffs animation workout station that we did actually mm -hmm. to, to make the whole movie is, is very unique. It allows you to create any kind of animation you want. And you can, you can take any artist you want and create an uh, animation based on his mm -hmm. art. Okay, so maybe we'll also see the kickoff of a whole new genre um, in, in filmmaking, and Dorota, you will have your work cut out for you to think uh, then of the next artist <laughs> you, you might want to tackle, or maybe only Vincent. Um, but just briefly to round off, because of course everyone wants to know that, um, mention one high point or one low point in the in the in the whole on the journey, you know, where you were particularly excited, or you where you maybe felt, will this ever, you know, actually be realized? A quick answer, and then we'll round it off. Mm, it's it's hard to say. I think the mm, the, low, the low point. Uh, I think during this production. Uh, what was the, the low point is the, the surprises that we had and the unexpected surprises in terms of creating something. And it was really challenging, so I would say that that's the thing. But basically, the, um, seeing the result is so fascinating that I think it covers all the low points. Mm -hmm. Anna, maybe a high point, what made you particularly excited about the whole thing? Whole thing, to, to meet so many great talented people and work with them and from that place i wanted to s say thank you it was a pleasure to work with you really great time <laughs> <laughs> and with directors with all the people really so yeah <laughs> loving you guys well that i think is the perfect conclusion so um thank you to both of you thank you to all the other guests um we are all of course very excited we can't wait of course now to walk over to uh, the movie theater in order to actually see and for me I've seen bits but for me also to see for the first time the entire film um, will be very exciting and um, to all of you all around the world who have been joining us here for the live stream thank you very much for watching I hope you did enjoy it tell many people about it tell many people about the movie when it's coming out in October go see it um, and for those of people who have missed the live stream, they will be able to watch it back on Facebook. So from all of us also here in ANSI and from the Bank of Museum, thank you very much. Goodbye.